Hey, it's Lucy, and back to Triangles We Go. Time to put your knowledge of the sine, cos, and tan functions and the size of right angle triangles to the test. If you have forgotten which side the adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse is, and what the word Sokotoa means, watch our introduction to Sokotoa video first. In this video, we're going to use trigonometry to find a missing side when we know an angle and another side. So we have a triangle like this. So sine, cos, and tan are just ratios between sides and angles on a right angle triangle. Sokotoa helps us remember which function we use to find which sides. So sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse, hence we say so. You may want to write it like this to remember it is opposite divided by hypotenuse. And cos of the angle is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, hence ka. So what do you think tan of the angle is? Hopefully you said opposite divided by adjacent, hence toa. So we call it so ka toa to help us remember these three ratios. So let's now put Sokotoa to use. Start by labelling the sides. So what do we call the two kilometre side? And what do we call the x side? Pause the video and have a think. Click play when you're ready to check. The two kilometre is the hypotenuse because it is the longest side and is opposite the right angle. And the x is the opposite because it is opposite the 30 degree angle. In this question, we can ignore the adjacent because we don't know anything about it and we aren't trying to find its length. So, we have the hypotenuse h and we want the opposite o. With o and h, should we use sine, cos or tan? Hopefully you all thought sine. We know that the sine of the angle is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So just substitute in the numbers and we get sine 30 equals x divided by 2. Hmm, but this hasn't given us a value of x yet, so we need to do a simple bit of rearranging. Multiply both sides by 2 and we get 2 times sine 30 equals x and type that into your calculator, 2 sine 30, and we get x equals 1. Simple really, just work out which sides you have and which sides you want, and then whether you're going to use so, ka, or toa. So let's have a look at another example. Give this one a go yourself. Pause the video, work it out, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get x is 0.5 kilometers? So the x is opposite, because it is opposite the 45 degree angle, and 0.5 kilometres is the adjacent, because it is next to the angle. So with O and A, should we use sine, cos or tan? Hopefully you thought tan. So tan of the angle is opposite divided by adjacent, and let's substitute in our numbers and we get tan 45 equals x divided by 0.5. A little bit of rearranging, so we multiply both sides by 0.5, type into our calculator 0.5 times tan 45, and we get x equals 0.5 kilometers. From this video, you should be able to find the missing side of a triangle when you already have one side and an angle. You just need to use Sokotoa and make sure you label the sides correctly before you start. In part two, we will look at how to find x in this example. It requires slightly different rearranging. See you next time.